This segment of the news is brought to you by Desert View Hospital, providing emergency medical care around the clock at 360 South Lola Lane. Learn more at DesertViewHospital.com. Physicians are not employees or agents of this hospital. Welcome back to News 46. Now here's Angela Miles with today's Business First Brief. Tapping our news, early indications from ADP and Moody's Analytics reveal 227,000 jobs were added to the economy in October. The biggest gains were in the services sector. The government's report on jobs will be out on Friday. Kellogg investors may be feeling stressed out. The stock had one of its worst days in years. Shares plunged after the cereal maker cut its financial forecast for the year. Cereal sales are soggy as consumers switch to less sugary brands. Businesses brisk at Yum Brands, the parent company of Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, and KFC, beat analyst estimates on earnings and revenue. And KFC is giving a bundle of joy to one happy couple. They named their baby after Colonel Sanders and took home $11,000 in college tuition money. The 11 is for the 11 herbs and spices and the finger looking good recipe. The adorable baby girl is named Harland Rose after the Colonel. Thanks, Angela. And there's still time for you to donate to the CASA Telethon that's being held all day right here in our KPVM studios. Today we are doing the 2018 CASA Telecom for local here in Pahrump. So you are the new executive director? I am. I just started on October 15th and I've had two special events under my belt already, so I'm, I've hit the ground running. <laughs> Uh, I see Willie's still in there, though. She's supposed to be retired. She is supposed to be retired, but she is transitioning um, me over to uh, the position, and so she'll be here for about a, two more weeks, and then she is going to be gone. Yeah. Never gone for good. We're up to 32.50 right now. You get five, 500, we're getting close to 4,000. CASA is short for Court Appointed Special Advocates. And these are volunteers that we train to be able to be the voice for children that are in foster care and in the court system. Mm -hmm. So these children are in court and they're scared. They've been removed from their home. They're now into a foster family and they don't understand what's going on. So they actually need to have a voice and that is through the CASA. We get our funding through either grants or through fundraising efforts. And most of our money comes through the fundraising efforts from businesses and residents, primarily in the Nye County and Esmeralda area where the Fifth Judicial Court is where we serve these children. Right now we have about, there's about 30 kids that are in the foster care system. Unfortunately, we do not have enough um, CASAs to be able, advocates to be able to uh, have all the children have a special advocate. So that's one of the things that we are looking for is not only monetary donations, but if somebody's interested in being an advocate, we would love to hear from you. If people would like to donate, how can they donate to CASA? You can either go on Facebook right now. I actually have on Pioneer Territory's uh, CASA page a donate button, or we'd love for you to call in and talk to our wonderful volunteers that have been here uh, since first thing this morning, and that's 775 505 2272, which stands for CASA. We will do our special fundraiser. Our next fundraiser will be in March, March 9th, which will be our Crab Fest, yeah. which always turns out everyone. Everyone loves the Crab Fest. All you can eat crab, how can you not? Yeah. Um, and so that's going to be um, uh, the next large event that will happen. But we do have a training class going on right now, and we are looking to have another training class come February or March. Oh, and this is what a majority of all this money goes to, is for us to be able to train these advocates. Our regular number is actually 775-505-2272. And so whether you want to donate or you want to be a volunteer, we would love to hear from you. And you have until about 8 o'clock tonight to call in and donate to today's telethon for that excellent cause. And families were out all over town enjoying the Halloween night festivities.
Area residents had a great time trick-or-treating last night at local trunk-or-treating events like J.K. Nelson's parking lot, Phantom Fireworks and all the businesses inside Wheeler Plaza, Lakeside RV Resort, and Desert View Hospital. And of course, the usual traditional trick-or-treating from house to house. At J.K. Nelson, RNG Farms brought down some of their animals for the kids to enjoy, and the Prump Gunfighters were even there. Golden Gaming provided all the candy for the residents inside the RV park to hand out to the Ghosts and Goblins, which was one of the most popular spots last night. Most of the costumes last night went back to basics with scary creatures. We hope everyone had a wonderful night trick-or-treating from all of us here at KPVM-TV. And don't touch that dial. After News 46 returns, we'll give you some important information about how Nye County students are doing 